This is the last part of financial mathematics. So I'll be discussing the mutual funds. A mutual fund is an investment trust company whose assets are purely based on stocks and bonds. This type of company only does purchasing of stocks and bonds. All investments in the mutual fund is called funds portfolio. The value of a share in the mutual fund is called the net asset value of the fund, which is obtained by the following formula. So the net asset value is equal to the assets minus the liabilities divided by the outstanding shares. Okay, so let's have an example. An investment trust company has 500 million worth of stocks. 25 million worth of bonds and 10 million in cash. The fund's total liabilities amount to 5 million. If there are 8 million outstanding shares, compute for the net asset value. Now, uh, let us compute for the total assets. The total assets will be the 5 will come from the worth of stocks, which is 500 million the bonds, which is 25 million, and then 10 million cash, which is 535 million. The net asset value, again, is the assets minus liabilities divided by the outstanding shares. So, so therefore, uh, 535 minus 5, this is the liabilities. And then we have 8 million outstanding shares. So divide by 8, so that gives you the net asset value, 66.25 million pesos. Now, if you plan to invest 150,000 in a mutual fund, in example number 5, how many shares should you purchase? Okay, so the number of shares would be 150,000 divide by 66.25 million, okay, coming from the net asset value. Okay, so that gives you 2,264.